All right, guys, in this video, I'm about to show y'all my top 10 overpowered player in this game in NBA 2K22. Now, if you if you see my list, make sure you watch the whole video, and this is not in order, all right? So this is my top 10 OP that I like to use. If y'all agree or y'all could disagree, just let me know in the comment section. Or y'all got your own top 10, let me know. Put it in, in your comment section, all right, guys? And show me who y'all top 10, so that way I could try them out and see. Kevin Durant is finally had some Hall of Fame badges for shooting, such as Hall of Fame Dead Eye, Hall of Fame Blinders, Hall of Fame High Zone Hunter, and Hall of Fame Sniper. Now, with Hall of Fame Sniper, you can make all your whites, but do not leave him open, because once he open, he's making it. Slightly early, late, it does not matter. And plus, he's 6'10", his wingspan about 7-something, but he got a longest wingspan, and he can move, he got quick first step on bronze, should be gold. But he's very OP, man. He will shoot over people. He got a mouse in the house bash. It does not matter, man. I'm telling you, he's OP. If you know how to use Kevin Durant, you will be dangerous. Okay, next we got Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, the master of the Scott Hook. This guy right here is so OP, especially in Tier 3. They had this scene at Tier 3. And the only closest sentence could really slow him down is Wilt Chamberlain. Everybody else, you cannot slow this man down. He will drop 30, 40, 50 points on your head. And not only that, he able to block shots, he send it two, and he moves fast as hell, and he could grab rebounds. He get like balls every time when you miss, he just get rebounds. He be like horsing. So he you use Kareem and do your ball, I'm telling you, you're going to drop a lot of numbers. I'm telling you, you, you probably going to get a triple-double if you pass the ball. But what I'm saying is that, like, you can't stop him. Like, it is what it is. He got Hall of Fame badges, especially uh, hook specialists on Hall of Fame. You can't stop that. And he got a lot of Hall of Fame badges, man. I'm telling you, he's very OP. Next is Corey Bryant, AKA the Black Mama. This man right here, this is an all time version of Corey Bryant. He is at 98 overall, and he got an 85 three ball. Plus, with, with the floor general of Magic Johnson, so that makes it what, 89 three ball? But anyway, he got a Hall of Fame Intimidator and Menace on defense, and he got gold clamps. And he got gold postal wiser, and he got Hall of Fame Dead Eye, um, Face Ace, Volume Shooter. Like this, Corey Bryant unstoppable. And not only that, like he's just like he have no weakness, none. And you could do whatever you want. And he got circuit threes. Make sure you use the circuit threes. I'm telling you, if you good at fadeaways and doing like step backs from the three point line, make sure you use that wisely because you're gonna make most of your shot. Make sure you practice with that too. Cause you definitely gonna be OP if you master that. All right. So if you nice with Corey Bryant, this is for you. He is very OP. Oh, y'all thought I forgot about Steph Curry. You know this man is OP. Everybody talking about this man's OP every year. But this time, since the shooting is very easy, he got 99 three ball, 99 mid range. He got gold sniper, mismatch. He got Hall of Fame blinders, dead eye, Seth. And limited spot up. This man right here, if you had no defense, like like Trey Young right there, he's gonna cook you every time. You could drop like 30 or 40 points with this man. So, like I said, make sure you use circus threes and go crazy with it. Alright, next up is looking Doncic. This man right here is very OP because he is a scary matchup against any small point guard in this league today. And they under like what, six seven? So most of the time they're gonna have a hard time guarding this man because he is so lethal with his shooting, his playmaking, he got a goal, quick first step. Like it's really hard to stop this man. And he can shoot, break ankles, he can move, and he got mismatch expert. Like what can you do? Like this man right here is a guard at the point guard. You gotta put like a different matchup, otherwise you're in trouble. Joel and B. This man right here is the best all-around center. He can shoot a three-ball, mid-range. He could post up. He got the fade, the hook shots. He got defense. He got goal intimidator, goal drop step. It does not matter. Like, this man right here is an all-around talent. Like, he will slow down one of the best centers out there, especially Hall of Fame centers like Shaq, Kareem, Will, uh, Hakeem Halajuwon. Passion Ewing, so he could slow these guys down. He may not like stop them, but he could slow them down. And plus, he could shoot the three ball consistent. So this man right here is, is too good, man. You could drop by, like about at least 25. A lot of people don't use him, 
But at the same time, when you really use him, use him, you're going to draw some buckets. And he, he and he's a good hustle player, too. Yeah, Michael Jordan is very OP because he's he's one of the best two-way players. He, he got defense in the Hall of Fame, such as Clint, Menace, Intimidator. Y'all know the West. And then on finishing, he got Hall of Fame Postal Wiser, Limitless Takeoff. Like, this man, Michael Jordan, the GOAT. It's too OP, man, and he's annoying to deal with. I'm telling this right now. If you play with him, you could drop like at least 50. Like Jordan, is, like he had no weakness. He can shoot a three ball. His three ball is like an 89 with the floor general like a 90. But this is the all-time Chicago Bulls Michael Jordan. But any Michael Jordan version is OP, except the, the except the 85 rookie Michael Jordan. Nobody cares about that. But everybody knows Michael Jordan's OP. Is it that I don't see a lot of people using Michael Jordan, which is disappointing. I don't know why, but you could do like Fade Waves with Michael Jordan, which he's known for. And this time, they really counts. When you use Fade Waves, you get rewarded. Yeah, LeBron James is very OP in this game in NBA 2K22. Like, he has no weakness even, and he's strong. I think his strength is like a 90, but he's fast, and he's strong. He could jump, and he could dunk on people anytime he feel like it. He got Hall of Fame Postal Wazza. You know, you know what time it is. And he got Hall of Fame limited takeoff. This man is really hard to guard, and he got Chef and limited spotter. So he can shoot like a long distance. This is the best version of LeBron James in real life in Miami. And he dropped his best numbers. So any version of LeBron James is OP. It does not matter. But I feel like to me, the Miami Heat version, he's just like unstoppable. Like this is a definition of a GOAT. All right? So make sure you use him. You're going to drop a lot of points. Especially people like to spam with LeBron James. So, hey, if you spam with him, you're going to win the game. Oh, one thing I forgot about is that he got Hall of Fame chase down all. You could get every block in this game this year around. All right? So make sure you use that wisely. Yeah, in NBA 2K22, Giannis the Greek Freak, this man right here is different this year. You, you could play him one through five if you want to. Especially at the five, this is a mismatch to everybody because he moved too damn fast. He got the defensive badges such as Hall of Fame Intimidator, and he got a gold rebound chaser. He got silver interceptor. This man is an all-around best player too as well. He can do everything out there, whatever you ask for. And he can shoot three a little bit, but you have to green it. You can't shoot a white. All right, so make sure you green it because his, his three balls are 70 and his mint range is at 80. So you're able to shoot mint range jumpers with this man. And this man right here is a dunk machine guard. Like he will dunk you in every time. But if you want to dunk every time, make sure you use the, the new dunk meter so that way you can time it perfectly. A lot of people don't know how to use it. I know how to use it. So if you nice with the dunk meter, you gonna get you, you get a lot of content dunks every time you feel like it. So make sure you use that wisely. You could use the X button, but it's not gonna work all the time. But make sure you use that dunk meter. Like I said, this man's OP. You can play you can put him at the five, the one, does not matter. Oh, y'all thought I was going to leave out Shaq, right? You know Shaq is an OP center in this game. Like, he weighed 300 pounds. He got a lot of Hall of Fame badges in finishing, defense, and that's it. And not only that, he's 7'1". He's a beast down there in the paint. You could put any center on him, he'll still dominate, no matter. The only way you can stop him is you play zone. But even if you play zone, he's still going to eat down there. You could put two men on him, three, it does not matter. I know people be seeing it. So, make sure you use Shaq. 